Hello everybody, it's Argal here and welcome back to FTP Interactions. Today I'm going to try something a little bit different here to get started with because I, um, when I started editing, I spent almost 30 minutes um, just showing you guys a bunch of stuff that happened between episodes so we tried out some things with Enderman and so on that you guys are going to see in a minute. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to cut up um, all the important parts of those clips and do a voiceover. So we're going to call this our speed recap, and I'm trying to keep it at around four minutes. So I think that is much better than spending a lot of time in the beginning of an episode just telling you, you know, this is what happened, this is what we did, here, look at this stuff, that, and so on. You guys get the point. So I don't want to waste much time now, so let's get into this, and then I'll see you guys right after this. First, I showed you guys the new location for all the lotus plants. I moved them over here to the Mangolin area because they fit in with the color and I needed so many of them to keep repairing my jackhammer. So I added a barrel and when I harvest, I get 59 of these lotus plants. Next, we went to the mining age and I showed you guys how I just made the building a little bit bigger and safer, also easier to get in and out with the griffin. And then I came up with a really cool um, design on how to use the teleporter. You guys see there's only one teleporter and all the shards are on the wall. So if I want to go somewhere, I pick one and I put it into the teleporter and then it takes me to that location. I don't need a return teleporter or a receiving teleporter on this end because I can do simply slash home and then go through my portal again, take out the shard, put in a different one, right? So that saves me a lot of materials. Then uh, we went down into the dungeon that we explored because I set up a little bit of a skeleton farm between episodes because I just wanted easier access to bones. Very simple, just two water blocks here behind um, this wall to the right and the ice of course was all there. And the skeletons get flushed down and then I have um, two little wooden spikes that I made a while ago for our other mob farm but I never used. And the skeletons just, you know, get flushed down, they take damage, and then I can just use my fist to kill them with one hit. And we collected a bunch of bows, um, also some living wood bows and steel reinforced that might come in handy in the future. Then we went on to loot a couple of chests. Um, this one here didn't have much, you know, just a life-mending one sword, which is stupid because I would never use it. Because it takes my life in order to mend it, some boots and some rock crystals. But then this chest here was amazing, right? Um, this was an amazing find. This Kaboomerang, a diamond helmet, a phoenix down, a diamond leggings, illumination powder, a vial of cloaking, and even a sigil of magnet. So once we have LP in our network, we can actually use it as a magnet. Then we went on and looked at another little mob farm that I've uh, set up with four spikes this time, and I set up a vacuum hopper because some of the I didn't want to get too close to them right um, because some of them they have a really high range especially these wolves they're like dire wolves or something that spawn they're really mean and they hit me just through this little gap and we got a bunch of loot there as well nothing really that interesting but maybe in the future okay then on the island I showed you guys I built a little bit of a new platform far away about six chunks from the main island and it's all lower half slabs and fences, so nothing can spawn there. Well, nothing can spawn anyway. But we want to summon some um, Endermen, because I would like to make Ender Alloy ingots so I can make more Ender IO conduits, right? And we're using this Infinity Dust. And when you put this on the ground, right click it, there's a chance of summoning mobs. The only mobs that we found that spawned were Silverfish as well as Endermen. It's three high, so Enderman can spawn. The top is all half slap everything. Now, it was very interesting when the first Enderman spawned, which you guys are going to see in a second, they actually spawned on top of the building. So I'm not sure how that happened. And then we found out really quick that Enderman and this pack are super mean. It doesn't matter that this is claimed, um, that we tried some obsidian trick even and so on. It didn't matter. The Endermen just break any block trying to get to you. You guys are going to see that here in a second. A huge panic coming on. Um, I looked at them. They're coming down and they hit me real quick. And I, I do retreat into safety here. It was fine. But look at them. They just went through the blocks like it's butter. And then I got teleported around when I got hit. I did not die luckily. But check this out. Every time I hit them, I got teleported. And then panic and I just left. <laughs> Back to the house and to safety. Um, like I said, then we tried um, with Obsidian and so on, but they didn't care. Um, even if it's claimed with Obsidian and so on, they just keep breaking it. 
But we did end up getting a bunch of ender pearls. Um, just, you know, carefully. It took me some time. Um, here we're going to see another one that I just want to show. Um, now this one I'm getting. Yes, I remember now. This one I just killed before it broke anything right there. Um, or maybe it broke that one wooden block there. I'm not. Yeah, just that one wooden block. That's it. But anyway, I didn't want to spend much more time showing this because you guys get the idea. The obsidian was getting broken. And then we found out that I made this ender pearl dust and iron ingots. And in the regular uh, alloy smelter in that bronze steam one, it did not work. You need MV. Yeah, we go. You guys have to let me know how you like this speed recap. Just something I might do in the future more if you guys like it. Because then we can spend more time getting actual stuff done and progression and so on, right? So now we're going to cut over to actual live clips where there's no voiceover. And enjoy the rest of the episode. Uh, let me talk about this this uh, dilemma here real quick, a little bit more in detail, because that's important, I think. Where is that? It's uh, in here. Yes, so, uh, right here. End up, why is there only one? Where did I put the rest? What? What's going on? Oh, I put them in here. You don't go there. You go here. Okay, so... So from what I understand is, because I couldn't, I, I couldn't figure this out, so I spoke with a few people on Discord, and also in-game. So right here, when, when you open a, in, a recipe initially, I guess this is always the minimum what you need to make something. So, we need MV tier, because it uses 48 EU a tick, and I'm guessing MV, that's the minimum that you need in order to get this much into the machine, right? So even though it shows it here, the steam alloy smelter, it doesn't mean it works. Not even this LV will work from how I understand it, right? Um, so that made me question because we made some stuff here. Oh, I think right here, yes. This right here, alloy smelter, right? It shows EU, but it shows ULV. And I'm guessing that the U means like ultra low voltage. I don't know what the U stands for, but this is my guess. Which I think when you see this, it means Steam works. Right? Um, and then when we go... We can't... If I click on it, it just shows me the recipe for this. So I'm guessing there's ULV, which is Steam. LV, MV, HV, and then I think there's another one like EV. Or something like Extreme Voltage. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, but there's a bunch of stuff in the quest book. So, that is why we can make some things in the alloy smelter, even though it shows it needs EU. But as long as it shows the ultra low voltage, that's why the steam engines work. Or the steam machines, okay? So, well, I didn't know that and I learned from it and that's fine. So, but I don't know about you guys. I am not a fan about using pipes that I cannot make, right? So, while I have this set up over here, I'm going to keep it. I did change out these pipes, by the way, to the pressurite fluid conduits because then I can use the time in the bottle higher because these pipes, I think, pump more at every tick. So it keeps up getting the, the steam into the machines a little better. I still cannot fully overclock them. Um, what is that? Six times, I think. Um, they will still run out, but I can go up to five times, which is super fast. So now that that is out of the way, I like I said, I don't like using stuff that I cannot make. That doesn't make any sense to me, because what if I want to extend the system and then all of a sudden I don't have the pipes I need, right? So we're going to switch to... Um, we'll make these here last, depending on how many I need. We're going to switch to item docks. These are the only ones I can really make. I also looked at the mechanism ones um, right here, the basic logistical transporter, but that needs this gobbledygook here, vacuum tube, which requires, you know, copper wire, a glass tube, which I need a fluid solidifier. I guess I could make it in this. Hmm, I haven't crafted this yet, so I'm not sure if I'm going to go, but let's say copper wire. I get one per plate. So three ingots to get two wires, that makes one of them. I don't think I can make this fine copper wire yet because I cannot. I need a metal bender for this. This is a much better ratio, by the way, if you check. Because in the wire mill, one ingot makes you two. Whoops. But if we check this here, one makes me one. 
but from one plate i get four of those so you get double the amount of these wires so when there's a recipe with these i think we're always going to use them instead of these so i could make these but it can also not hide them which is important for me so we're just going to go with these now item ducks bam done no more i leave this in here i clean this up later then i need to make four extraction upgrades which go in here to make you why Tin nugget, iron plate, resonating extraction conveyor upgrade. Oh, because this needs to be iron, not tin. Oh, please tell me I have. Oh, that's why I took them. Okay, I need to make a couple more. Uh, perfect. Oops, let's go and make these real quick. Thank you. And they go in here. So now I have enough to make. Four servos, I don't even need four. Why are you tripping here? Give it to me. Okay, I'll leave this in here. And then I just need one insertion conveyor upgrade for what I have planned. So, I moved the barrels over here from the tree farm. That is right there. The barrels were right there next to it. Again, with Android conduit coked up. But right now, it's just going into this box. But I want to automatically make planks. And then use these planks to fuel D3. And I also want to automatically fuel these furnaces up here. Because I don't want to use the... What's it called? Infernal Furnace. Because that has a chance of making flux. Which I noticed when I made a bunch of... I think iron nuggets. Yes, I saw every once in a while a small purple cloud. And I don't want to have to do that if I have these furnaces accessible to me. Right? If they don't make flux. So I want to also automatically... Fuel these with planks. I don't want to have to worry about this, right? Auto fuel would be awesome. So, but I don't want to give this a void upgrade or anything, right? I only want to make planks when I actually need them. So, let's just get started here. It was going to make more sense. And we're going to have to work backwards from there to here. So, the first thing we're going to need is something for me to stand on so it's easier to show. Uh, yeah, sure. Give me andesite. I don't care. Let me just stand here. There we go. So we're going to have a pipe going in from the bottom into the um, logs. And then the end product is going to be a pipe going into the planks. But I'm going to disconnect these two because they're going to be on a different circuit. Um, and of course, we're also going to have items coming in for the saplings and the apples. So this right here is going to be the one that is going to come from over there. Now... Um, I am sorry. I almost messed this up. Um, this needs to be disconnected as well. This is going to be the input. This, give me that back. Maybe uh, I'll get it in a second. I'm not going to waste that. So this is going to be the output from these. So we're going to have to put a servo here. And these servos right there, we can set to only operate... Redstone control enabled. So only if it gets a redstone signal will it pump out. Okay. And this is what we're going to govern depending on how much is in this one. So this is going to be the return. So I'm also going to connect this, connect this right there. Now I am not exactly sure how we're going to do this. Should I use dirt? No, because it's redstone. What can we use for... I don't really want to use like a red thingy here. That's kind of weird. Is there, do we have a nice block? Something that I can use for anything redstone related. Red granite. Uh, what are you? Marble? Hmm. Why don't we use this black granite? I got a bunch of this stuff from my vein. Let's use this. You can easily see redstone on it. So. Let's put this here and let's first of all see if this works. And of course, I did not make something. And before I forget, I got to pick up this pipe or it's going to despawn. Give me. I need to make a comparator. And give me my comparator. Thank you. Okay, so that's the first thing is I don't even know if we can read the input. I have not checked that yet. And whoop. okay, yes, we can. Good. So let's see what it says. It's probably going to tell me signal strength 1, right? Hello. 
Yes, power of one. So let's say while this is, I'm going to say full is 15. Okay. I, I made this torch here and I want to see if it works. This is a, the advanced redstone torch, which you need to make for the clock anyway. And apparently you can set this to a certain strength, but it doesn't have a trail. That's why this does not work. So what if I hang you here and then put a piece of redstone there? Okay. So now it's right now giving out signal strength 15. 15, it's off. It's that simple, right? So only if I get 15 from the back will this turn on. But this is, we need to invert this. So we, we want to make something like, let's make signal strength 10. So that would tell me if it's two-thirds filled um then it will compare it and it will turn on right i hope that makes sense so now behind this we're gonna have to do it like this you know we might make this look better in a minute or something but we'll see so behind this now i'm gonna need another redstone torch because we need to we need to invert this yes okay Sorry, I had to think there for a moment. Uh, yes, right now it needs to be on because we are not at two-thirds filled. That's right. So that means I want this to be on. And we're coming back here. Um, I'm going to have to probably go down. Yes. So let's go ahead and do this. I just heard a trapdoor. That's my, um, I put this in here. Um, the, the juice, what is it called? Liquid starlight. If I need to drop something in there and I put a trapdoor on it, but now because it goes around the corner, it does not power this block. So now I need to put a, a repeater right here. So repeat, advanced repeater. Okay, perfect. I have all this stuff on me. I just need a crafting table and we can make the repeater. Blam. Okay, so this repeater will not is on now. So that means if there was an inventory right now, do I have anything with an inventory on me? No, I do not. Let me just grab a chest so I just can show you guys. We're gonna need some chests anyway, so let's just do I have any of the other ones? Bring this. I don't like the small chests. If I can use these, just in case I need more, because you can never open them if there's something above them, right? Okay, so now this is actually on. So now if I give this a chest, because it's saying I don't have enough, it's gonna start pumping out, right? So it will now send it to wherever we're gonna process it into planks. Um, are you going back inside? And now you're stuffed. But if I think, I think if I do this, yes, it gives it back to me. So now it's not stuffed. Which it's probably going to happen, um, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's put this back in here. So now we're pumping it out. And I can fill all of this here. Okay, this needs to be nicer. So we are going to put... Um, I think we're going to put dark oak in here. Wrong one. They really have to make up their mind, the different mods. Like when you use um, shift click, when don't you use shift click, right? It's kind of annoying that everyone does it differently, but it's fine. Nothing we can do. Uh, maybe, the, maybe there's a config chain. You know, that might actually be a thing. A lot of mods allow you to do that. Let's check this real quick. Um, this is from Ender Utilities. Mod options. Ender Utilities. Bam, config, those one list client generic, inverse sneak, right there, barrel inverse sneak, the sneak behavior taking items from the barrel, true, done. Thank you very much, mod maker, for allow allowing us to do that, that is really awesome. So now, if I put this back in here, and I click once, I just get a single one, just like with store drawers or Java barrels. So that is awesome, okay. 
Now, like I said, I still need to figure out how to get the items up into here. So that means they're probably going to have to come from there. And that's why I wanted to have the covers. So we're going to go down here. Bam, bam, bam. So the items are going to come up. Why are you connected by connecting into the table? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> why would you pump into a crafting station? <laughs> okay. So these are where the items are going to come from. And then here we are coming down to wherever we're going to process. And then it returns right there. So now our thing is we need to come from over here, which I have to go up last. Yes, I have to turn this on last. There should be a hole somewhere. No, it's not. There's only in the grass. So let me break through here real quick. Let's just make this bigger so I can get down there. So we need to come from here. Um, and I did, yeah, I don't want to use a hopper. I'm trying to start avoiding using hoppers when I can, because they're just not good for a server, right? When they're full or anything. So we're going to set this one to ignored. So it will always pump out as soon as it has something. And we're going to put a dropper here. So now the items are going to start filling this dropper. Of course, there's a lot backlogged here because, well... I broke this down. So the items come here, and then we're going to set up a clock here last to shoot these items down, right? And the items are going to go onto a water ice channel over there. So yeah, we're going to put this clock right there. And it should already start spinning out items, which can go over there. There's, I don't see any reason. For this to not run. I mean, if anything is wrong right now, then, well, the stuff is just going to be in the water and I can always turn it off. Now, does F3B work? The box is shown. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys see what's happening here? Ah, <laughs> oh, that is funny. The item collector on top is sucking them back up. So I have to lower the range. It doesn't go under the ground. That is funny. So we really only need... Uh, what is that? Why? We only need one. We only need to get to the ground. So let's go here to Y1. And now it should not pick up the items anymore. Now the one thing I need to do here is... Uh, let me just put this there. You know, otherwise items could fall in this hole and then the item collector cannot pick it up. Okay. And we're probably going to replace that with a sound muffler so we don't hear the clicking, but well, I'm never over there anyway. So now we should see the items coming down here. And the hitboxes just make it easier seeing stuff in the stream. Are you kidding me? Are you... No way! Oh boy. Okay, um, I need to remove this. Okay, so that means I am going to have to do something here. And put this in my offhand. So, kablam and ice. And then also, okay, so now it's going over it fast enough. And I'm going to have to do this on every one of them, but I need to remove these torches or the ice will melt. Yeah, this could have been a lot smoother here. Um, it's just an ice channel. I, I'm not sure what the deal is, why I'm having such problems here. But let's see if I can hit this. Okay. So I did get this one back and the conveyor. Okay, so I got it all. So the items would just go into here and then go into this chest. And I can put all this other gobbledygook that I have here in there. No apples on me. Let's sort. Okay. Now we can turn this on and make sure that it actually puts everything up into the... Um, storage containers. I would love to get my torches here. So if I go like right in the middle of the ice, I'm hoping it will not melt them. I think that is far enough away. This one is too close because I had to get around to turn. So, well... If the ice melts, it melts. Nothing we can do. Okay, but it's moving along. And we can see it. Good. Okay, so now. 
the items are coming down here and i decided we are going to put uh why don't we use glass for this um let's put it off like right there let's put this here like that and then we need another water and i think it goes that way been a while since we set that up and there is my sawmill now of course you go the other way right okay so temporary block now put you here okay so now this is working and glass cutter i'm not wasting any glass okay so now all i need here is i wonder if i can pump into this directly you know what i want to try that out or if i need a hopper let's see if a piece of what will come down it does okay and i think it's one oh it's depending on the servo this does stack size eight next one should be coming instantly now of course we have that there again <sighs> okay well we have the conveyor so why don't we put that okay i'm um, how do i get there i want it to go sideways this way okay kablam what is this hitbox it's this stupid hopper are you kidding me oh man how do i get this up there now i don't want to break the hopper because then oh no i can the the water won't come out okay now i can place this conveyor on here right yes so now this one should pop through on top of it wait did i just see regular oak did you guys see that that didn't look like dark oak oh my god what a mess here but i guess once everything is set up it's fine so i get pumped in here and then it should come up on the conveyor okay so that means i'm gonna have to put glass around here and above it now let's check it again it should come out forward i, I don't want to see this yes okay good so now we can put another one of these chests here against the conveyor and now i just gotta break this for a second so i can put my insertion upgrade right there really why is everything gotta be difficult today <laughs> wow let me go okay put a chest here can i please put this insertion why can i not put this here what is going on can i please turn this there we go now it should work now give me that and let's put this glass back so the item actually goes up see like clockwork okay now let's put this in there and the rest of these logs into here now let's see this does not need to be fast guys um because it's gonna how many of these does it do at a time i want to see it might be better to have a a buffer chest here but that wouldn't make any sense because we get two or four four at a time you know until it burns four planks eh, only time will tell maybe let's see here real quick usage how hard is it to upgrade these servos what uh what oh assembler never mind not for a while so we'll have to figure out if this is going to be fast enough or not i for the steam it will be I, i'm pretty sure it will be if this is just continuously running right 
Okay, and then, like I said, from here, now we need to do one more. So come down to here and disconnect all of these pipes. Give me that. Disconnect this. Disconnect this. I'm nervous being right next to this fire. Okay. And then last but not least, this servo and ignored. And are you coming up? Are you coming up? Yes, there we go. So, now, of course, we can do a test here. Um, well, we should see this go up. Now it's up to nine. Right. I don't have anything else on me. I'll clean up my inventory in a second. 17. 25. Yeah, it's bringing up eight at a time. Now, that's the only problem is that is there a tiny chest? If we had a tiny chest, that would be amazing. No. Um, the... Oh! There is a mini chest. Four chammer. I want to see. I want to see. Let's see if we can do that. Four chammer. Please work. Yes. Yes. Very nice. Okay, give me those. Now I'm just gonna make one more servo. Okay, here we go. I do want to make this down here a little bit different because it takes so long for them to come down here. So what I'm gonna do here is I can leave this pipe, but we're gonna disconnect this one. And we are going to put one of these mini chests. So it only holds one stack of wood. So now this will just continuously pump because there's an inventory can keep going. Yeah, you guys see this? It pumps them much faster. And then here we just have a very short range to always pump into there. Yes. Perfect. This is just going to make it a lot easier, guys. You see, this is much faster, this process now. So we're just probably making it with a factor of, I don't know how much, but much faster. And I don't know. I'm, I don't even need to cover this because it always pops out on the top, it looks like. Yeah, okay. So we got all of this going. Um, and we're up to one. Okay. So now I just want to show you how this works. So let's say we go to one, right? So now, hey, I have the acquired fill level. It powers this block, the redstone is off, and it will stop pumping the logs out, right? So I don't just continuously make planks. But because the, the, the sawmill will just keep making planks, even though the, the conveyor next to it doesn't put it into the chest, for example, right? So I think if we go to with a signal strength of 10, that will probably mean we're gonna get about 40 stacks of planks right here. All right. Now, I did not think this one through. Okay. That means the output needs to be on this side. So now I need to make more servos and... I'm going to break this open here. Um, where is it? Don't take the wrong axe. So we're going to have to get rid of these here. So for right now, this redstone signal will just stay on. Uh, but, I mean, until we get 40 stacks, it's going to be a while. And then I hope that I can run this over right here. And down to here. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to make a little bit of a mess here for a second. Why am I hesitating? There we go. And we are going to get rid of these sticks here. Okay, so the sticks are gone. I don't need this barrel anymore. And we're going to remove the three. But we are going to come bam, bam, bam. So this is going to be my input. And we're going to come over like this. Do here and there. But we are disconnecting it here and then I just have to make a servo here again to right there hmm that's gonna be brutal because that's a, such a long way to travel 
So that means it's gonna send... I don't know, maybe it's gonna be able to send multiples. We'll see in a second. Let me get all of this out. I'm just wasting it anyway because I'm not using it for anything. I thought that when I made four that I made too many, but... Okay, so now let's put this here and turn it on to always active and now it should start sending planks over here. And I hope it will send it faster because there's three possible inventories. Yes, it does. Okay. So, and then from here, I have to check real quick. I'm pretty sure that... Aha, uh -huh, there they are. Okay. So, like I said, I do want to fill these one as well. And I'm pretty sure that when you pump in from the back that it um, goes into the fuel slot. I only have 15 more, but that might be enough. So I'd say... I do not like when my inventory is this way, but there's just nothing I can do. Give me all these. Eh, who cares? And then from here, bam, 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 bam. Come on. And there. So now... I don't know how long it's gonna take before these guys get planks as well. Can't really, um... Tick modify this. I do uh, Who knows? No. <laughs> ah, that would have been nice. Okay, let's check here for a second. So this one has seven, sixty-four, sixty-four. So I'm guessing once this one is full, then it will start sending stuff over here. Yes, there we go. There's the first one coming. Now I just want to see if it actually goes into the fuel slot. I think from the side and from behind is fuel slot. Top is inventory. Yes, check it out. So now I never need to worry about fueling any other things here. Okay. And I'm going to clean up my inventory in just a second. So I'm just going to dump a bunch of stuff in here that I do not need. I do need this. I don't need any of you and you. Okay, but I do want to keep these. Because now we're going to make a couple of these. And hopefully they will work. So we're going to start with the lighting first of all. So you guys can see. Oh, don't deposit food. Where's my torches? So light. Okay, so how many do we get here? Six. Let's go with 24. I don't know how many we need. But going up, these should be easy. Look at that. Okay, so we can cover all this up nicely so nobody can see it. But we know it's there. And I'm just wondering if I'm going to be able to hang my torch on there. No. Okay. So that just means there's nothing I can do. Hey, <laughs> there is. <laughs> Yes, there is. Oh, I gotta clean up my ender site here anyway. That is not there. So what we can do is we can hang this torch right there. And now set it to signal strength of 10. Because that powers this, right? So that's gone. I clean up that mess underneath in a minute. Now I want to see if these here turn into connecting textures. Or if they are just going to be unconnected. So what, what do you guys say? I say no. It does connect the textures. Oh my god, that is awesome. That is awesome. Okay, cool. So that is there, and I just still need to put one so we can see that. Very nice. So, okay. So now I can close all this off. It is two days later now. Yesterday was Thanksgiving, and the uh, other clips were from the day before. And a couple of things have changed here that I'm going to point out in a second, but... First off, there is no way for me to hang these uh, differently. I, I tried with the wrench and everything. It's just, we're gonna have to live with the texture that it, you know, always goes up and down just like here when you connect it from the bottom, these covers. 
at least I don't know of a way, guys. If you know of a way that I can actually make them look different, then please let me know. But uh, otherwise, I do not know how to do that. The system has been working really nice. And over here, I wanted to point out that um, I didn't notice until later when I was working in the area here. When this torch was underneath it, even though it was set to 10, it's still the redstone on top showed 15. Um, you even saw that in that last clip just at the end when I hovered over it. I didn't notice it. So I believe that when you power a block, it just gets powered. Okay? So 15 or nothing. So I had to put the torch here, which is okay. And you guys see here, I made an online detector. Because when I was offline... It, this is the, the, the thing with, with modded Minecraft. We never know what keeps something chunk-loaded. I have nothing chunk-loaded here, guys. Okay? But I, I feel like these guys here still stay on and burn stuff. Or the sawmill on the bottom runs. I don't know what. But this barrel was full when I logged off after that day of recording. And this one here stops at 44 stacks about, by the way. Um, and then I came on the next day and there was only 7 stacks left. The planks were still at 40-ish. Okay? So it just kept pumping this out somehow. So I didn't get new wood, and it kept using this. So I said I need to add an online detector. So there is no end gate that I found in the in the in the mod pack, a modded end gate or something. So I went with a vanilla end gate. How a vanilla end gate works is this torch is usually on, right? And this torch is usually on, and this one is only on when the barrel is full. So only if this one is on. And this trail is on, so both of them. Will this torch turn off? Okay? So that means if I am not online, no matter how much is in this uh, barrel right here, I will not send any logs down, okay? Because I can show you guys this. So, um, let's say this one here is once more. So let's set this up to 13. So right now, I wouldn't have enough planks, right? Hey, give me planks. That's why this is off. And this torch is on. But if I am not online, so let me just take my name out so this block turns off. This torch is on, which powers this redstone, which turns this torch off. So even if I'm not online and it wants to make planks, it will not send any because this is an end gate, a vanilla end gate, okay? So that's how this works. I hope that I explained that well enough. Um, sometimes it's hard to explain end or, or gates and so on if, if people just don't know what it is. So let's put this back down. So nothing is getting sent because we're full. So I did this and um, the other thing is yesterday I did because it was a holiday and I didn't want to record is I moved our Astro Sorcery area. It used to be over there. Um, uh, I forgot now who told me in the comments section. But they told me that um, they saw in my video that there was right here um, there used to be the ground traps here. And the, when I had this fuzzy resonator in my hand, there was little blue sparkles here, right? Right in this area between these four chunks. That's why I turned on the chunk boundary right there. You guys see, there's four chunks. And so I came back at night and double-checked, and it was right. There is blue stuff right here, and that's why I moved the the Astro Sorcery over here. I had to expand the the island a little bit and this big area right here I just measured out because this is going to be the attunement altar from Astro Sorcery. I just wanted to make sure I have enough room, right? And I like it. It looks good. Now the island is growing. It's even bigger. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's the loading animation. So pretty much it used to go right through here and I just extended it so we have more room. And the ground traps are hidden underneath um, with the right in there with our crops right i put them back there where we had the rustic stuff and i hit them away over there because i don't need to see them so this is moved over here um i already removed the coke oven that was here because we're gonna do something oh by the way i got this from a chest here air of filth plate you know you can set them they're like little jump pads with angles and everything at 30 i don't take any fall damage i, I just left it here it's it's fun <laughs> so but i do have the teleporter going over there and I prepared so much stuff, guys, today. I think I crafted for four hours. I just crafted. Um, the amount of stuff here, look at this. That's, uh, what did I say, 144 or something bronze plates. 
brass plates, I, I made tons of shears. I put the crucible here in the ground with a trapdoor so I don't accidentally throw something in it, right? And it's also nice because right here I have the shears. So I just sent them down to get smelted and then I was able to stand here, throw five shears and then eight copper ingots to get all this brass. So, oh yes. And because I needed to make so many materials here, I made a second macerator. Because these machines right here is what takes the longest to process the all the copper or tin or iron or everything that I processed in here, right? By the way, I went mining as well. And I have so much copper and tin that I had to put it in a different chest, all the tin. I, I don't know. Mining is super easy in this pack. I enjoyed a lot. But anyway, so I made a second macerator here. We still had a couple of these pipes. We still have a few left over. And that helped me out a lot. But um, quests we're going to turn in in the end. Yes, let's go ahead and do one more thing today before we turn in quests. And that is, I would like to complete this quest. This one right here, where we have to make this for one improved Coke oven. But then when we go into this chapter, it says that we need to make three of them all together. I read through a lot of things, guys, um, over the last two days, really trying to understand how the progression works and everything. And the next thing would be to make this bronze spoiler, all right? Which requires all these machines here and stuff. Again, you need a ton of wires. Um, uh, the, the things right here, the bronze hulls. You need a ton of these uh, logic circuits. And every one of these things is just a, not a rabbit hole. It's not bad, but you know what I mean? This right here costs me three ingots to make these two wires because you need a plate. With this cutter, I needed to make a different one, by the way. Uh, that's why I made this um, Roth iron wire cutter, because this wire cutter here is a different one. That's not that one. Which by itself is eight. What is it? I think eight iron. So that's, um, well, three in a little bit. Four, five, six, seven. Yes, seven iron ingots. And turn them into Roth iron. So just to make one of them, and you guys see, it's almost down to half durability. So anyways, um, if I want to make this bronze spoiler, right, I, I, I would have uh, spent so many materials and so much time again making all this that I said we're going to make this because I have already prepared it. But then next episode, we're going to get started with basic LB machines. We're going to make the steam turbine, the wire mill, which then gives me two wires for one ingot. Um, we're going to make the lathe, which is going to give me two rods for an ingot. We're going to make the bending machine, which means I can make the other, the um, other s wires. Oh, God. Sorry, guys. It, the names are still these things right here. The fine wire, like this fine copper wire you can use instead of any other wire. And this one you craft in the... Do, 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 do. Where is it? Oh, I need to do this here. Usage. You cr no, no, recipe. You make that out of one foil... You get one, and the foil, I think I shown that earlier, sorry if I repeat myself. We get four for one plate. And then, of course, plates in the uh, bending machine is one-to-one, -one, one ingot for one plate. So making these machines here before we make the big boiler is going to save me so many materials, and we're going to have to make them anyway. So why not? We're just going to get started with that next time, okay? So, but let's get going here. Oh god, I made this three times. That's not needed. I forgot. We need three carbon papers, and I thought this only crafts one. But there we go. We need... What was that for? They don't stack now? That's weird. Anyways, and we need three of them in here to make... I'm guessing we need three of these uh, machine blueprints, right? Because you gotta have to put them in every machine. So, wait a second. Yeah, they don't stack. Okay, so let's put them away here. Bam, and all this stuff is going to complete quests. Then we're going to need 36 of these puppies. That was so much. Unbelievable, guys. Um, then we're going to need three of these logic circuits. By the way, here, I wanted to point something out. It's the first time I needed to use the extractor because you need sawdust in a compressor. Oh, wrong one. We need the mechanism one, this one. And this one you get from pulverizing a mineral crystal you get six of them 
And this one we get from an extractor from mineral wood. You get four of them. So it's the first time I needed an extractor, and then it's easy to make. Wires, you know, all this is all just a bunch of crafting, guys. There was nothing special to it. It was just a lot of work. And then we're going to need 12 of these machine casings. And then we come in here now. Let me get this right. Of course, I took it off. Let's see here. I think maybe this was in the middle and this was on top. Yes. We need three of these machine controllers. There we go. Getting all kinds of stuff completed over here. And then we're going to need six of these inputs. But as far as I know, three of them we put in here and then they turn into outputs. So we need three item inputs and three item outputs. And then we also need three fluid outputs. If you switch this around on the on the fluid, for some reason, you can craft them both. On the item, you can only craft the output and then you turn it into an input. I'm not sure why. But anyway, we need three of those for the cryo seed to get it out of the machine, right? This says output. Yes. Okay, so we got this. And then right here, I have them just prepared. We're going to need 12 of the coke oven bricks. I have 24 left because we made too many last time and i also took down the coke oven up here okay so let's go ahead and just set them up here and we'll see let's make sure that i am not going over chunks and we're leaving a little bit of room here so and i am worried that i might take fall damage but we'll see so then in the corners i think is these and then like i said in the back yes in the okay can i get all of this on the bar this is fluid good so fluid is opposite from these controllers bam and then i said uh what was it again was it shift right click with an empty hand oh it's because you need to put this in here let's just put them left i can always change them so input is left and output is right who cares and then oh no not you. Oh, I need you back. And then we just have these bronze hulls again. And now comes the cool thing. Is that this is also the bottom layer of the next one. Right? So I'm just going to have to build the same thing two more times besides the bottom. Yes. So this right here is going to be enough to fully operate one large steam boiler. Which is enough to run up to 14 of these basic steam turbines it says in the quest book. But we're going to run our first basic steam turbine just of our regular steam that we're making right now next episode so we can make these LB machines or operate them, I should say. Okay, so let's go ahead and put one of these in here. Missing input item. Item. Structure found. So it is working. Okay, so let's put this here and the last one up there. And let's turn this back off and let's go ahead and get, well, let's just get one, two, three of these here. I don't know where I'm going to put all this liquid. Um, I might just make an array of stone drums. Oh, input. Yes. So go ahead and put this in here. And what do you say now? Missing input. Oh, it's working. So I'm going to guess, you know, hmm. I'm going to guess you can have these inputs on either side. I don't think it matters as long as you have them. So now they should all be working. Is there any indicator on these? So this is working. Wow, this is fast. So how much coal coke do we already have? Or charcoal. Coal coke we get out of... I, I don't know. Uh, coal coke? This one right here in the coke oven so we need to use coal okay i have to figure out how to get coal then but i'm just gonna let this run so we get a bunch of creo seed because who knows maybe we can run this boiler and only creo seed now we have all this done let's go ahead and turn in some quests we're gonna get 32 coal coke another circuit crayfish salad and then now down here, get ready. Oh, now I need to make an LV machine hull. Okay, so we're going to do start with this. I get everything ready between episodes for that, guys. Okay, then over here, yes. Aha, there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys. And that is I went to the 
overworld and i found a well i had it on the map i i went to a swamp and check it out i got 32 slime balls i only wanted one i wanted to kill one slime to complete this quest uh, where is it right there because this gives us a slime cube which means i can set up a slime farm in the overworld right um when you put this down the slime cube i th it doesn't say it but any chunk you put this in turns into a slime chunk. Of course not here, because mobs cannot spawn here. And then this one we got from killing those endermen in the beginning. So I'm not sure, but I think that the portly gentleman means that you can pick up mobs. The interference means um, endermen do not teleport away. And then the other stuff, I don't know. Experience boost unbreakable. Thomic is probably just more upgrades or something. But we'll try out the sword. And then I also killed spider, which just gives me a spider set. I don't care. I have so much string, it doesn't matter. And what do we have here? Oh, yes, because I made the, the mineral crystal. We get some torches and food. And then what is this here? Yes, I completed the circuit board up here by hand. You needed to do that. And I get a reward here, 16 coded circuit boards. Those are the ones I showed you. And this one right here, I just checked off because we've completed the Bronze Age. Now, LVH, I cannot check off yet for this one here. By the way, these just show you that everything in this row is LV and everything in this column is LV. This is really neatly done. And then I know if I get to MV, I have access to D things and D things. Right? It's always column and, and row. So that's really cool. But I'm guessing I need to complete this quest over here first. And then I can check those off. Uh, what do we get? Anything else? No. And up here, nothing left. All right. Awesome. We're done. Lots of progress again. Um, fully automatic planks for steam and the furnaces. And then, of course... I'm going to be able to use these logs in here as well. And I'm going to have to read a quest book a little bit more. Maybe you guys have some tips and tricks you can let me know for when we get to the steam boiler. If I should really like it says in here. I mean, I'm going to believe them. They were not wrong so far, right? Um, No, it's this one. This one right here. This is what explains it. It says if you have set up two large boilers, you have an... Oh. Uh, Wait, where, where did it say it here? Yes, there we go. Uh, improved coke oven. One of them producing charcoal and two producing coked coal. All of the coke, coal, and creosote are then piped into the large bronze boiler to fully power it. But I am not sure how I can keep up with the this here to completely automate it, right? I mean, where am I going to get endless coal from? That doesn't make sense to me um so i'm gonna have to see i mean i don't care if we even need to make more of those as long as i have the lv machine so the the crafting is going to be easier but i'm rambling over here guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the episode i had a lot of fun again i love it i'm gonna lay out a little bit the factory between episodes and do some other busy work like i said and then um i'll show you guys in the beginning of the next episode again a quick recap um, don't forget to let me know in the comments how much you liked it or if you don't like it at all. I, I'm, I'm going with you guys' opinion. And yeah, that's it. Until next time, guys. Thanks to guys for watching. Take care. Stay safe. And bye-bye.